Hey, what's up, Clapback Thursdays? Let's start with the WBC and ordering Shakur Stevenson versus William Cepeda. Ordering? What does that mean? They ordered Canelo Benavides like three years ago. Yeah. And that hasn't happened. William will make his decision very soon. And he has three other options. No, Shakur Stevenson, God. you're a free agent. You're a great fighter, great talent, but not for me. I believe that when somebody says you're not fighting for the public, I cannot promote. Bullshit! 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 Now, there's a lot of rumors going on that the Saudis are going to take over boxing and buy out every single promoter. Well, guess what? I haven't been approached, so don't believe everything you read. Clapback Thursdays. So we got Clapback Thursdays. What's next? Throw it in the circle Fridays. Toss your salad Saturdays. And golden boy shower Sundays. Hey, yo, what the fuck? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house with Dr. Boxing Talk. Check this out, man. So we have uh, Oscar De La Hoya. He back with his shenanigans again, man. He got his uh, <laughs> he has a new segment called Clap Back Thursdays. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Gosh dang, Oscar. Like, you, come on, bro. That's that's what you came up with. That's what you thought about and came up with. Clap Back Thursdays. Anyway, before we get with to the shenanigans let's talk about what he what, what he covered because what he covered in, in during his little segment is very important you know what i'm saying first off let's let's uh, let's uh, address this you know the wbc ordered that zapeda um fight shakur stevenson for shakur's uh belt you know for shakur to put his belt on the line you know and the, the irony in this is um is that uh you know shakur has called out um uh, sorry, Zapata has called out Shakur multiple times, you know, habitually, you know, and then and then he 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 pump fake with the call out. He'll be like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not a, I don't really want him, you know, him. Uh, mostly his team, you know, Panda and Oscar De La Hoya himself is like, oh no, we don't really want Shakur, but they've been calling him out since uh, before Maxi Hughes and after Maxi Hughes, and then when Shakur obliged on the call out, said, hey, yeah, let's fight, you know, they they they, they reneged, you know, so now the WBC has ordered for the Zapata and Shakur fight to happen, and uh, Sh and, and Oscar is shutting down. And again, this is the second time he shut it down. The first time saying the only way that Shakur gets to fight Zapata is if, if, if he signs with Golden Boy. You know what's crazy? Because does that sound familiar? You know, uh, Shakur is just coming out of a contract with Top Rank. Um, supposedly supposed to get, get to fight Lomachenko or even Raymond Muratala or, or wh whoever else that, that Top Rank has. And none of them happened, right? None of those fights happened. Even Berenchik. Berenchik is signed with Queensberry. But, you know, uh, um, through third party or whatever they got going on, you know, he he's, um, fights on Top Rank cards too, you know. Uh, Dennis Berenchik, who's a champion, and he even called out Shakur. Those fights didn't happen. So, you know, I, I think that um, Oscar's kind of trying to give Shakur an uh, ultimatum. But more, most importantly, um, which is going to lead to the next point, to me, that's a sign that he wants to sign Shakur, you know. But in his next point with his with his with his clapback uh, Thursdays, you know, his segment, he said that uh, he, that Shakur is not the man for him. Whoa, whoa. Shakur Stevenson, you're a free agent. You're a great fighter, great talent. But not for me. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? I believe that when somebody says you're not fighting for the public, I cannot promote. He doesn't want to f want to sign anybody or promote anybody that doesn't want to fight for the public. And that's not true. You know, I think that if Shakur, if, if Oscar De La Hoya uh, felt in his heart of hearts that he could sign Shakur, then he would definitely sign him. You know, and he's proved that, you know, he was definitely put his hat, I mean, his name in the hat, you know, for the Shakur sweepstakes. So that's that's very disingenuous right there. But they're also going back to, you know, speaking of being disingenuous, this man Oscar, <laughs> I was talking, I think Oscar's a good promoter, promoter, let me say this, but you know, like I said in the last video, I was like, man, Oscar uh, talks like he wants to actually still box these boxers, you know. And once again, he brought up Canelo's name, and he tried to use Canelo as a as an affront to uh, to kind of let us know 
why he doesn't have to abide by the ordering uh, for Zepeda to fight Shakur. You know, I just think that, you know, this is just something that we have to keep in mind as boxing consumers and boxing fans. You know, a lot of times we do get mad at the fighters for not fighting who they're supposed to fight or their mandatories or their ducking, right? We accuse them, but we don't say anything about the pr promoters. And I say this all the time on my stream, you know, it's not just the fighters that make the fight. They just fight the fight. But it's a lot of things that goes on from their promotion, from their from their team, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, and just just from them going into a general agreement, you know what I'm saying? So um, so with this not happening, you know, he, he he's blaming Canelo for no reason, you know, but he, he's right, though. We should get mad at Canelo for not fighting Benavides, but at the same time, we should also keep in mind that it's not just a one-on-one -on -one decision. Now, Canelo's a face of boxing, so of course, he gets a lot of the blame. He should because he could fight and not fight who he wants to, you know what I'm saying, or doesn't want to, you know. Um, but it's not just him, man. And Oscar just proved that. You know, it doesn't even matter if Zapata wants to fight Shakur, which I think that Zapata would fight Shakur. But Oscar is strong arming it and saying, no, we're not going to fight. We're going to fight who we want. So keep that in mind next time you want to say a fighter is ducking a particular fighter. It's not just a fighter. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. That's, 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 that, and that's it for that, man. And then the last point I want to get to with Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> he said, um... Uh, this man said about the promoters, you know, he said that uh, a lot of rumors have been going about going around about um, Saudi Arabia and Turkey, Al Sheik, Big Turk, uh, trying to make a make one big league, you know, have universal rules established and, you know, one section and body, if you will. And he, he kind of kind of shut that down. He said that, um, you know, that the promoters are still going to be in boxing. And this is where I agree with Oscar De La Hoya. You know, as much as I, I applaud Big Turk for what he's doing, I love it. You know, so I've been a beneficiary of Big Turk's uh, 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 financial <laughs> inclusion you know <laughs> and his interest in boxing you know however i don't think that that solution is to have one one overall governing body like the ufc you know i think that would help to give the consumers the fights that we want but i think there's more, a lot more that goes into that and not only do i not think it's feasible at this time i don't i don't think it's plausible either you know but we'll, we'll see how it goes but i do agree with oscar like that uh, in, the, in that regard i'm not sure if that'll be the answer you know what i'm saying and i'm, I'm I, I uh well i do want more fights to happen with big turk I don't, i'm not sure if i just want one person control and control of everything because if you think about it you know what if what if big turk starts doing something that we don't like or what something that we don't want then it's like a it's like a tyranny you know what i'm saying so you know i don't think we want like a, a monarchy of, of boxing you know what i'm saying or a monopoly of boxing even though you can argue that it kind of already is you know <laughs> but yeah man so um, now let's get back to this title man this title of clap back thursdays <laughs> Like, come on, Oscar. You got to have more awareness, man. You my boy, but you should have talked to your team. Where B-Hop at, man? You ain't talked to B-Hop about this name? You ain't talked to your wife, your kid, nothing? You ain't talked to nobody? Like, bro, just, this is what you got to do, man. Come holler at me, man. I'm going to get you right with the PR, man. Because you have a clap back Thursdays. What's next? Throw it in the circle Fridays? What do you mean by that? Then what's after that, bro? Toss your silent Saturdays? And guess what? The banger is... I can't even get it out, man. <laughs> Golden Boy Shower Sundays. You know what I'm about? But that's it, man. Y'all let me know in the comments uh, 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 a name that Oscar should have had, you know, for his new segment. And let me know what y'all think about my names I proposed for Oscar, man. You got to tighten up, man. You can't be doing this, man. But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. The doctor is out. But before I leave, remember with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Y'all be easy. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.